Hello, this is Ron Nutter. This is the next video in this series on protecting your online presence. You can see this and other books at www.ronaldnutter.com. In this video, we're going to talk about the Ubico Authenticator. Before we get started, we'll talk about registering your book purchase and the platforms that Ubico runs on, how to enroll a token, and tips for using the Ubico Authenticator app. To get the most results from the book and to find out anything that's new is going on that additional material I'll be coming out with, or if I come out with an online course to go into further detail or to help those that really were like a little bit extra assistance in getting all this up and running, if you would please register your book at www.ronnutter.com forward slash PYOP dash two, and you will get uh, notifications as they come out. If I see new hardware that I think or new methods of authentication to a website that I think you'd be interested in, I'm not going to be sending you email two and three times a day. In fact, you may go a couple of weeks without getting anything because I try to be respectful of your time, but also want to make sure that I can give you as much assistance as I can to protecting your accounts as much as possible. Now, the Ubico Authenticator app is a little bit different it is both an application for your Android phone. At this point, it does not work on Apple because Apple chose a different chipset from what everybody else in the industry is using. So unfortunately, this is an Android only solution, but it's very interesting. The enrollment process is not really stored on the phone. So if your phone gets stolen and you still got your token, then you're in very good shape. What you do is you see by here uh, on the screen, we're showing tap your Yubico Neo. And this is a special version of the Yubico key that has set up for NFC or near field communications. And you'll find where on the back of your phone, you need to place the token for the phone to read it. And everything is stored on that token, but you don't have to have a laptop or a desktop to plug it into, to get the tokens to where you can use them. You just tap it on the back of the phone and then it everything takes from there. Now, when you first get started, you're going to see a screen like this. And if you don't have any enrollments set up for two-factor authentication, you'll can click on this little, the three vertical dots right here, and you will then get switch over to the camera and whatever site that you're using for the two-factor authentication, you'll see the barcode. And this is a little bit blurred here by, by design. And then the app will recognize that. And then you will be prompted to put your key on the back of the phone so that it can store that information on the key. As it's doing that, you can have the option of changing the information that it's going to record, which in this case, you know, I was working with Tumblr at the time and I just said test account. So you can put a label here unique to that site so that you know exactly what it's for or if you need to rem remind yourself that you use a different login account on this one site, that's an option. Now, the when the codes get displayed, at first, you know, you'll see the screen says tap your Yubico Neo on the back of the phone and no codes will be displayed. That's by design. Or when you're through using it, if you're going to hand the phone to somebody else because they want to look at something, you can swipe the screen and it will wipe all those codes off so they can't see anything. Now, the, the part that I really like is you see this line across the top of the screen. You see where this blue line is. As that blue line gets smaller and smaller or shorter and shorter, depending on how you look at it, then that tells you how much time you have left to use that code. If there is no blue line present, that says the code that's up there is an expired code and you can't use it. So if you were to happen to let somebody see this and the code is showing like that and there's no blue line up here, you haven't shown them anything because that code is expired. Or if you have multiple sites registered, that is you know, you, you, you still have, have got a level of protection there. And anytime you add or change enrollments on the accounts, you have to put the key on the back to get the next set of codes to display. You just hold your Yubico Neo on the back of the phone. And within a second or two, you should see new codes pop up. And those are good for another 30 seconds. So that really is a very good way of protecting your codes so that if your phone were to get stolen or compromised, that it does the person no good who's trying to get into that information and not see anything. So this is just one option to 
to look at. You'll see more information about this uh, in my book. If you've not already purchased a copy of it, you can go to www.ronnutter.com forward slash P-I-O-P-L, and then you can start the process of protecting your accounts. Thank you for your time.